Hey everyone, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. This is KDK Keel Dyken. And today's review, I just wanted to keep you guys updated about everything going on with RK One Up, and particularly to one of their new cabinets called the Big Buck Hunter arcade cabinet so uh, a store based in canada which is pretty rare because usually canada is usually one of the last places to get some of the newer cabinets but uh, uh this particular store buy stuff store they're based in canada they have their phone number here on their website and they have their phone number if any of you guys want to place an order or if you are local to that area they do have a number of cabs in stock and recently they did a review on their youtube channel using the uh, Big Buck Hunter uh, send-in light gun. If you guys didn't know, the uh, Big Buck Hunter arcade cabinet is using the send-in light gun technology. And so they did a brief review. Uh, they are working on breaking the unit down to see if the guns can be uh, separated from the cabinet and plugged in, into either a PC or possibly a Raspberry Pi. But I just wanted to keep you guys updated in terms of everything going on with the send-in and what uh, this actually means. So this is rk one ups first light gun only cabinet i believe it has two or three games uh listed on here actually i'm sorry it has four games listed on here and of course is using the send in light gun technology i um, hope you guys have been enjoying pistolero uh, which is also send in power because it has the software currently installed but uh, anyway there were a few questions and they were wondering if it could work with uh, pc if you could separate the guns uh, from the cabinet and also use it on a Raspberry Pi. Now, I believe the internal box, uh, they did separate it. It is using a USB uh, connection. I do believe it is a USB 2.0 connection uh, where the guns are uh, plugged into the cabinet. And of course, you guys could go over there to check out their channel and hear all their words and uh, uh, hear their thoughts on uh, what they thought of the cabinet. But anyway, what I wanted to point out and chime in on is I know some of the people were wondering, can you use this separately uh, from the RK one up? And there may be a possibility to do that. Um, for those of you guys who don't know, um, just to let you know, guys know, one of the reasons why I haven't posted in a long time is I've been playing around with uh, quite a few projects, obviously one of them being the send in, and I have effectively decrypted the send in light gun. So I know what it work, how it works. I know the internals that it's using. I know the chips. I know all the processes, everything. However, I'm not going to release all that information publicly. That's just something I'm playing around with. But yes, I do have it decrypted. And so the only way to find out if this is uh, their gun for the Big Buck Hunter arcade cabinet is compatible with PC or Raspberry Pi, I would actually have to get one and plug it in my computer and decrypt it to see if it is exact same uh, technology. Now I do know that uh, several months ago I did, you know, speak to Andy. I asked him, "Can you speak on it?" He said, "No." Obviously, that's not you know too much of a surprise. But um, yeah, I think a lot of us are interested to see what are the future modding capabilities of the sending gun that comes with the RK one up unit. Can it be integrated into anything else? So um, I will keep you guys updated if that is a possibility. I'll see if I can get my hands on one in the near future. But um, overall, it looks great. I know some of the gentlemen complained that there was some slowdown time there uh, as far as the guns or the games that they were playing. For those of you guys who don't know, um, if you have uh, looked at my channel, I do have Pistolero on there. And several of the games that come specifically on this cabinet, I do have on my RetroPie image uh, Pistolero. Uh, that is using, I believe it is the Atomus Wave uh, 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 set with Flycast, that is the Flycast emulator. So um, it runs pretty smoothly, 100%, no slowdown time or anything like that. But just wanted to keep you guys updated as far as what is going on with RK one up sending light gun technology. So yes, you guys can get these right now. I believe they should be shipping to the U.S. mid-January. I have to call my friends over at the docks to see if they got anything coming in right now. But primarily, yeah, they are in the wild, so to speak. I hope you guys really enjoy it. It looks like it's a really good product. And as far as the technology, we'll just have to wait and see what the modding capabilities are in the future as far as all the secrets they will tell and things that we could possibly uh, do with this. I know a lot of you are, who follow me are really excited. But um, if you are modding this, uh, keep in mind that, yes, if you do happen or if it is possible to somewhat integrate the gun with the Raspberry Pi, 
Uh, I use the, the image I made is a Raspberry Pi 4. It has 160 something games. I think there are probably two light gun games I missed, which was Ghostbusters for PlayStation and also Lethal Enforcers for SNES. But I already have that one on there for the arcade set. But um, everything that can possibly run on the Raspberry Pi is pretty much there. I know somebody was asking me about Carnival, and Carnival doesn't even run too well on PC anyway. I mean, it does in some cases, and it doesn't, but it won't run at all with uh, the Raspberry Pi 4. I've already tried using RetroPie. But um, yeah, so I do have the Sending Light Gun decrypted, and we will just have to wait and see what the future modding capabilities are uh, for this cabinet. I believe this cabinet retails right now for about four, is either $399 or $499 but it looks promising so we'll just have to wait and see what the future holds uh just wanted to keep you guys uh quickly updated about all things going on with the sending light gun um, also too i am still playing around with it with my raspberry pi to get something more functional um with this as far as a tutorial i mean it is possible to use this on the raspberry pi but there's a lot of hurdles you got to jump through and i hope that uh, releasing the front end image on the Pi has really helped you guys out since the software has already been installed on there. Uh, and the plan is for the next, probably within the next month, maybe month and a half, I will have some other developments for you guys to simplify everything because if possible, and I'm not promising anything, but if possible, I can go ahead and get everything configured. I can load the configuration script uh on the uh, drive on the online toolkit and you guys can download all the settings and so that way is just more of a, less a plug and play scenario so hopefully that is the plan i can't really promise you guys a whole lot of stuff because obviously there's uh other people's times and everything involved in all of the entire process but anyway guys this is keo dyke and hope you enjoyed this quick review the rk one up big buck hunter first light gun cabinet is out in the wild and i hope to bring you guys some more exciting news about this see you guys soon later